What is happening out there guys? Raul TV, Team R4UL, your favourite YouTube mechanic. We're back again. After the disappointment of the England loss and everything, we're back again and uh, we're soldiering on. Okay, life must continue. <laughs> I'm say it's only football guys. Chill out, okay, chill out. You know, there'll be, you never know, two years time. We might do it in two years time. The vlog, I didn't even continue because I got so upset and everything. So uh, yeah, anyway. Uh, what we've got here, we're back in the garage. Okay, and we've got a Mercedes E-Class on a, a 2018 E-Class that is, and we're gonna go ahead and do a minor service. It's a service A, so basically, air filter, oil filter, engine oil, things like that. But check all, all, all the levels, um, you know, go through the car a little bit, you know, and uh, you know, check, you know, brake pads, things like that, you know, just checking, okay? So we're gonna do a little minor service on a Mercedes uh, E-Class 2018 diesel. Diesel, did I mention that, diesel? It's a diesel. Let's go, let's do it. Okay guys, sorry about the noise in the background, um, obviously there's another car there, so what, uh, for the interim service, the uh, service A, I normally, you know, uh, I normally do this, but you don't have to do this if you don't want to, you can go ahead and just replace the air filter, oil filter, engine oil, go through all the levels and everything, but since I've got it on the ramp, what I do is, I normally check for like play on the wheel, you know, wheel bearing, spin the wheel bearing, everything, check all that, just go through it like a general check, okay, check all the, uh, you know, wish, uh, what is it, uh, the drop links, things like that uh, and just report it basically, check the brake pad since it's there, I might as well just check the brake pad and uh, yeah, so it's not, uh, I wouldn't say interim interim service, it's more than an interim service anyway, so uh, yeah, that's all I'm going to do, I'm going to go through the car, so check the play on it, both hands obviously, I need both hands to do it uh, and I'll get back at you guys Okay, since the car is up on the ramp and everything, so, you know, we might as well, okay, might as well take the cover off and drain the oil. I'm pretty sure the oil filter on these, they're on the top of the car, so if we just drain the oil, we've been through everything, this tyre needs replacing. So, to I would say this one's on its way out as well. So, we'll report all these things to the customer, uh, just check the drop links, you know, that's all good. Check this one as well, just feel for play. See if there's any play on it. I mean, you can if it's on the floor. If you can get underneath it, and then check it. That's even better, right? So uh, yeah, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this cover off, take this cover off as well. So we're gonna, it's eight mil. Just one second. Eight mil screws. This one, this one, all the way out along the side. Everything as you can see here, all the way, all the way this way. There's another one there. Eight mil. So basically, main objective is I've done it before in another video. We're gonna go ahead and take this off, take the back one off as well. And yeah, go from there. Okay guys, so once you've got the stupid cover off, okay, the stupid cover of death, I'm gonna mess in, the stupid cover off, you're gonna get yourself a screwdriver, okay? I'm gonna go in, if you've got a short stubby screwdriver with a big head on it like that, then happy days. If not, I've only got a long one like that, okay? That didn't sound right, but anyway. Um, we're gonna get get it in through this way onto the sump plug here. It's a plastic sump plug. All we do counterclockwise. Okay, and as you can see, it's coming off. Um, so I'm gonna put the camera down for two seconds. Right, get the oil pan ready. Okay, and uh, drain it. Okay, so uh, yeah, let's go. Okay guys, so as you can see there, I've got the sump plug back on, um, it's like 99.9% .9 drained out, um, I would say 99.999% drained out, it's nearly 100% drained out, uh, all we do now is we just screw that back in. Once you get to there, you'll see it's a stopper there, there's a little stopper there, and that's it, you can't really go anymore, you can't tighten it up anymore, no torque settings or anything like that, so don't message me on the comment section saying what's the talk saying for that because uh, there isn't any once you get to that stopper that's it job done right I'm gonna give that a clean out uh, I'm not gonna put the covers back on just yet because two things one is you know when I drain the oil filter if we do get any oil seeping down then obviously I can just uh, clean it up and another thing is if I drop anything from the top I don't want to go ahead and take the cover off again to get the you know just say a socket or what have you so anyway let's give that a clean out send it down do the oil filter we'll go from there we'll do the top end of the engine let's go okay so while we're here as you can see the oil filter is down there we'll get to that in a second we might as well just do the uh, air filter i think which is in here boom take that one off take that off another one down there just make it out boom there we go and another one down here 
we'll just get this if you look at it straight down there next to the plug of the ECU there we go that should now I think lift up might put up a little bit of a fight not too much only a little bit of a fight it should lift up because I don't want to go ahead and take all this off okay I'm just gonna try and make do without taking it on take this off might give me a bit more room to take this off take that off hopefully now here we go oh I forgot this one here one more here if there's one more here there's more likely gonna be one more on this side which I don't think so right so there we go we can see the air filter there right I think I can just hold it with one hand take it off with the other hand happy days let's go right so just hold it up like that and just drag the air filter out boom happy days this way you don't need to go ahead and take everything off minimal job right let's go okay so there's the new air filter we might as well just bang it on while it's uh, while we're here so just lift it up best you can as much as you can just slide that in there there we go nice and easy put that on top of it like that just get all these clips back on not rocket science all of them all the way uh, around the uh, air filter box happy days let's go right okay so as for the uh, oil filter what we'll do is this part here should come straight off so it's only clipped on here as you can see there all right i mean you could have done this one first then do that one or that one first whichever way you're comfortable i thought since we're here we might might as well just do the air filter move that out of the way if you want take that off totally you don't have to you can just leave it there because you can gain access to the uh, the oil filter dead dead easy 27 mil my bad so uh, i thought i'll get that in there before we uh, before you guys give me a third degree bollocking okay on the comments so leave a comment well give me a nice comment okay so basically take that off once it's loose you can just take it off with your fingers with your hand there we go one oil filter off let's get the new one make sure we're going to renew the seals little seal there let's go okay guys so as you can see there there's the uh, fuel filter cap let's give that a wipe with Hannah's uh, old school uniform right okay so um, what we do is we've got the seal back on as for the oil filter we're gonna try it on there a few times on pull it off again then on pull it off again on pull it off again so now it's nice and easy what we do is we're gonna go around to this side here right so as for the oil filter as you can see there you can see two holes there okay I'll point it out in the edit there's one on the top one on the uh, bottom the top one is for this little locator okay you need to get that locator into that top hole there okay if you don't then you're gonna have big problems okay and the bottom one is uh, it's the tube for the uh, for the big hole okay so basically you're gonna line it up there okay line it up and get the fuel uh, I keep on saying fuel filter we are gonna replace the fuel filter get the oil filter on there boom so that's gone on nice and easy and the reason why we've tried it on the cap a few times so it goes on nice and easy now so as you can see here we get the oil filter cap on there all we do now is just screw it on get it on with your fingers first with your hand so it goes on nice and easy once you get there you just tighten it up with the strong arm or with the big ratchet three eighths uh, not three eighths the half inch uh, ratchet uh, as you can see there it says 25 newton meters if you want to go all professional and uh, get the torque wrench out you can do that if you want to i don't do that i just get the uh, strong arm or the big uh, ratchet just tighten it up hand tight should be good as and uh, yeah we're good to go that's it guys that's all I do 
Uh, I don't need to get the torque wrench out or anything like that, just normal ratchet, half inch ratchet, 27 mil socket, extension, and that's it. Hand tight, let's go. Okay guys, so as you can see there, we're gonna get the oil in there. I've got the funnel everything ready. This is the oil it takes, the Eco M. I really wanted Patronus for it, but uh, Mercedes and Patronus, they really go hand in hand. But uh, obviously they didn't have it in stock. So I've got the comma, which is a decent make as well. 020 okay and uh, dipstick wise it doesn't have a dipstick on this car okay it's not that i can see one can i see one leave it in the comment section if it's got a dipstick obviously you check it on the screen inside the car but we're not going to bother with that i'm going to tell you guys it takes 6.8 liters okay 6.8 liters of oil so i've got five liters there okay and two liters in one liters okay so we'll put five liters six liters and we'll get to 6.8 right uh, and that's it let's fill it up Okay guys, so what we've done is we've got the oil in there, we've got the oil filter in there, we drained the oil, new oil in, oil filter is on, air filter is in as well. Uh, we're going to go start it up, okay, and then after that hopefully we'll go ahead and replace the fuel filter, which I don't know where it is. If it's under there then I'm going to have a field there getting to it, so hopefully, fingers crossed it's not under there, it's under the car somewhere. So uh, yeah, let's start it up, get all, you know, everything running all the oil everything in the system and uh, go from there okay guys so as for the fuel filter i'll be straight up honest with you i've already started taking it off this cover so it's underneath the car where the uh, this sensor is next to the uh, exhaust here okay so there's a little cover there you have to take that 10 mil off from here more than likely 10 mil off on that side as well which is here which is already off and it just pulls off this cover pulls off like that and then the fuel filter lives in there okay so uh I'm gonna, I'll be straight honest with you, this is the first time I'm tackling a fuel filter on a Mercedes E-Class So I think we'd need a special tool to take this off Or if you've got some big dogs, you can use big dogs I think a special tool, a cap, to take that off and we'll go from there Okay guys, so I've slackened this one, I'll show you guys how I slackened it in a minute So let me just take this off first, then I'll go through it If you've got the proper cap, then happy days, you don't need to worry about anything right? But obviously we, did, we didn't have the proper one So I'm just gonna show you how I did it I did it with my bare hands, that's all. I'm only messing, I didn't. <laughs> if you want to move this wire out of the way, then it gives me, we'll go a bit smoother. There we go. One fuel, oh, the cap is off. But as for the fuel filter, we have a special tool that comes with the fuel filter and we should be able to take that off. Give me a minute. Okay, so this is the tool that you get with the fuel filter. Okay, so I don't know how you really, you really use this, but I think all you do is just push that on there. Like that, yeah, just click that on and then, or clockwise, yeah, clockwise, sorry. And it comes straight off. Okay, so basically, once you got the tool on there, clockwise and then pull. And there we go, happy days, one fuel filter off. Okay guys, sit rep, as you can see there, I've got the new filter here. Uh, it's got a seal on there already. And uh, I don't think, one, I think top tip is don't use the tool that they give to put it on with. I think you just put it on with your hands, right? So all you do is just get it lined up, right? Get fuel all over your sh all over the show as well. And obviously we took it off clockwise, remember? So it will go on anti-clockwise. First off, get it in there. And that's it. Right, I don't know why they even give the tool because without the tool you can even take it off with your hands. Anyway, that's it, that's on. Let's get the cap on, the cap on, and uh, go from there. Let's go. Okay, guys. So I'm going to explain to you how I took this off. Obviously, if you had the cap for it, then you don't need to. I don't need to explain anything. Just put the cap on and take it off. Because I didn't have the cap, okay. I'm going to put it on with my hands all the way, okay, as much as I can to stop the leak, right? And I used this little tool here. This one here, you can get one of these from local spare shop, they're about £10. Um, but if you're going to use that, you have to be really, really careful because this is only plastic. Okay, if when, once, once you go to take it off, make sure you do it nice and gently because you don't want to crack the plastic or else you'll need a new housing. Uh, so I did use that on this, which I'm not supposed to, I know that, but I didn't have the cap for it. I didn't have the original cap for it, so I used that. I'm going to use this one again to tighten it up. Uh, I would say about 25 Newton meters. That's it, so 
like I said, I, I can't use the torque wrench on that, so I'm just going to go hand tight with that one, best I can. But if you've got the torque wrench and you've got the cap, 25 newton meters. Okay, guys, so I've got it on there. We have it. I mean, uh, one little top tip is, as you can see there, there's a little paint mark there, okay? Uh, I put a little mark there as well, right? So um, before you take it off, I should have mentioned this in the beginning, just put a little mark there. So once you come to tighten it up, if it goes to that, I mean, it, it can't go, it, I mean, all the way anyway, right? Ha there's a stopper, so it has to stop, right? So if you put a little mark there, then once you get to that mark you know that it's tight okay so uh yeah we've got it on i'm not going to put the cover back on just yet i'm going to send the car down start it up and then hopefully no leaks and uh yeah we're all, we should be all right we're good to go let's do it okay guys so after you've done the fuel filter don't go starting it up straight away make sure you uh turn the ignition on a few times and let the uh, filter fill up so you don't, you, you basically it starts up first time. You don't want to go ahead and put easy start in this car and everything, such a newish car and you know, yeah, you don't want to do that. So, a few times. Okay, so I've primed it a few times. I think they should self prime anyway. So uh, foot on the brake. Keep the rev up a little bit. There we go, that should be okay. Let's send the car up one more time and uh, just check for leaks and that's it. Happy days, we'll get the cover back on. And then what I'm gonna show you guys is how to reset the uh, the service on these cars. I've shown you how to do it on the older ones. Uh, I think I've done a video on this as well, on, on this type as well, you know, using these little doodads here, right? So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and check it for leaks. We'll go from there. Okay guys, so as you can see there, there's no leaks whatsoever. Uh, that dampness there is because I just sprayed some brake cleaner on it just to clean it up So I'm going to clean up even more right okay, so uh, no leaks cars running happy days Let's get this cover back on it just slides onto them little clips up there, and it's a little 10 milli uh, uh, Nut on this side Happy days. Let's go Okay guys, so everything is back on, the air filter is back on, the oil filter is back on, fuel filter is on, oil is in, screen wash, I don't need to show you guys really how to put screen wash in, just put it in through there, it's got, I've just topped it up, plenty in there, okay, uh, the antifreeze coolant in there on this side, and well, that's about it, happy days, let's go ahead and reset the service light, the service warning indicator, I'm going to go, I'm gonna show you guys how to do that, job done. Let's go. Okay guys, so as for the service reset, I mean, it's pretty much, it's not the hardest thing in the world, right? Okay, so uh, lock the door, open and lock the door. I normally lock the door, right? Okay, so what we do is we're gonna go to make sure the ignition is on. Uh, not ignition, uh, number one, position number one. So there we go, position number one. We're gonna hit that and hit that, hold on to it. So both of them, hold on to it. Right, and then we're going to release that and then press that again. All right, so we come to this screen. We'll go to Assist Plus. Hit that. Switch on ignition. So fully on now. Right, and it says service uh, overdue. Yeah. So we'll hit that again one more time. So we'll go to full service, service data. We'll go to using that scrolling down. We'll go to full service. And we'll just scroll down using that. Okay, to confirm service. Hit that. Uh, grade of oil yeah it should be okay just use one right and then yes carried out and then confirm boom that's it done right all done and dusted then you can just hit back on this one back 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 again uh back again so we go that way and then just go this way and go back to your trip and that's it job done turn the ignition off that's it service has been reset now when you start the car up there we go, all done and dusted. But I'll be straight punished with you guys, right? The sake of, you know, for the love of God, okay, do not just go resetting it for the sake of it. At least minimum, replace the oil. Oil, oil filter. If you don't want to go replacing the, uh, the what is it? The thingy above, the fuel filter, the, uh, the, uh, the air filter, things like that. Just at least replace the oil, oil filter, then reset it, okay? Anyway, that's it, job done. 
Well, that is it, guys. All done and dusted. The Mercedes E Class E400 diesel 2018 plate. Service done. Service reset done. Uh, that's it. Um, I mean, not the easiest job in the world. I mean, the service oil change, everything is pretty much standard. Okay, the fuel filter. What an awkward position to put it. You need to get right underneath it. Well, anyway, if you're doing it on the floor, make sure it's nice and safe. The sun glare is in my eye and I can't even see you guys. Well, that's better. Um, anyway, I hope this video helps you guys out. If it didn't help you guys out, I'm sorry. I'm trying my best. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell button for me. Leave a comment in the comment section. I'm doing another video on this one on how to just reset the service. If you, if you don't want to go through all the full video, you can just go ahead and check that out. Give me a like, thumbs up. You know the drill on that one as well. And I'll see you guys next time.